I am Bok Dong Ya from Gyeongbuk National University Hospital. The title of my study is Clinical Feasibility of Dual Layer Computed Tomography with Virtual Monochromatic Image for Preoperative Staging in Patients with Breast Cancer, a comparison with breast MRI. Recently, dual energy CT has emerged as an advanced clinical imaging technique. It utilizes the simultaneous or sequential acquisition of CT data at two distinct X-ray energy levels. Dual-layer CT is a specific subtype of DECT, distinguished by its ability to automatically register the radiation spectrum received by two layers of detectors as two different energy spectra without altering the tube voltage or current intensity. DLCT can create virtual monochromatic images at different monochromatic X-ray energies from two different energy data sets. VMIs at low kilo electron volt can increase contrast enhancement compared to conventional CT and overcome increased noise associated with low energy using an anti-correlative filter which cancels out Compton scattering and the photoelectric effect. Therefore, we hypothesize that, although conventional chest CT is limited for breast cancer staging due to a low contrast to noise ratio, chest DLCT with low kilo electron volt VMIs might be feasible for breast cancer staging. Therefore, our study aimed to evaluate the clinical feasibility of chest DLCT with VMI for assessing detection rate and the extent of breast cancer for preoperative staging and in comparison with breast MRI. We enrolled 188 women diagnosed with primary breast cancer who underwent contrast enhanced chest DLCT for staging between September 2019 to August 2020. Of these, 29 patients were excluded because they did not undergo breast MRI, and 7 patients had excisional biopsy. Finally, 152 patients with a total of 155 breast lesions fulfilled the inclusion criteria, with three patients having bilateral breast cancer. The longest diameter of the largest tumor was measured in the reconstructed 3D MIP images of breast MRI and chest DLCT with VMI by two radiologists blinded to all clinical information, including histopathologic diagnosis and additional imaging data. We reviewed the chest DLCT first, and after three months, reviewed the breast MRI independently to minimize the memory bias. We evaluated the size discrepancies between modalities and compared detectability using the McNamara test while agreement was assessed with blonde ultimate plots and ICC analysis. The mean age of patients was 51.5 years and the mean tumor size including the in situ component was 2.2 cm, while the invasive component was 1.6 cm. Among the 155 breast lesions, 78% were invasive ductal carcinoma. 9% were invasive lobular carcinoma. More than half of the breast cancers were T1 stage. The detection rate of chest DLCT was 84.5%, while that of breast MRI was 88.4%. The cancer detection rate of chest DLCT with VMI was not significantly different from that of breast MRI. 13 were not detected by either chest DLCT with VMI or breast MRI. This table presents information on the 13 undetected cancers. Regarding BPE on breast MRI, more than half of the breasts showed high level enhancement. Among the five cancers with lower level BPE, the size of all but one was smaller than one centimeter. These results are a comparison of measured tumor size in chest DLCT with VMI and breast MRI. There was no statistically significant difference in tumor size. 
the intra-class correlation coefficient between two modalities was 0 0.840, indicating good agreement. The agreement between the two modalities is illustrated by a Blan Altman plot showing a mean difference of minus 0 0.05 cm, with 95% limits of agreement ranging from minus 1.29 to 1.19 cm. Here is a 47-year-old female with right breast cancer. The first image is the conventional contrastiness chest CT, and the second one is VMI of contrastiness chest DLCT. With chest DLCT, we acquired VMIs at 4D kilo electron volt and reconstructed to 3D image. Contrast enhancement appears more prominent compared to conventional CT. The third and fourth images are 3D reconstructed MIP images of chest DLCT with VMI and breast MRI respectively. The longest diameter of the tumor was measured 2.1 cm and 1.9 cm respectively. Our study showed no significant difference in cancer detectability between chest DLCT with VMI and breast MRI. The measured tumor sizes obtained by the chest DLCT with VMI demonstrated a good agreement with those obtained by the breast MRI. Among the 13 cancers that were not detected by either chest DLCT or breast MRI, all but one were smaller than 1 cm or had a higher level BPE. There are several limitations in our study. First, this study lacks consideration of detection and evaluation of multifocal, multicentric malignant lesions. Second, the detectability and measured tumor sizes were acquired through consensus, which is discouraged in radiology research and poses limitations. Third, the quality of image reconstruction could have potentially influenced the results of this study. In conclusion, chest DLCT with VMI showed comparable cancer detectability and good agreement in tumor size measurement compared to breast MRI. The use of low kilo electron volt VMI with high CNR in chest DLCT can be a potential alternative for breast cancer staging in patients with contraindications to breast MRI. Thank you for listening to my presentation.